corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. Intel has told us there are at least seven. They're the same picture. Well, it's been a long time since I've made a video like this. And for good reason. Because normally, I wouldn't want to discourage you from playing a game that you want to play, right? I mean, especially something that is as seemingly harmless as a Ubisoft game, right? Well, here's the thing. If you buy Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you're just supporting further mediocrity in the industry and the death of innovation. But yeah, before I get into this, remember, like video, favorite, subscribe, dislike if you hate my opinion, that's fine, whatever. I make other content, you know, reviews, rants like this. I make whatever. So yeah, please check out my other content for the love of God. Nobody watches my other videos ever, except my core audience. Love you guys. And you know, check out my Patreon if you want to throw me a dollar because I'm a e-beggar peasant. Uh, thanks. All right. Because it's clear to me, and it should be clear to anybody who's watched these previews, that Assassin's Creed Valhalla is just a copy-paste of Odyssey. I mean, they're not even hiding it, really. And this happens every time that Ubisoft is successful with something. It happened with Assassin's Creed. It happened with Far Cry. It never happened with Watch Dogs, really, because Watch Dogs was never as successful, thankfully. Instead, now they're trying something new. Much like they did with Assassin's Creed. Because it happened to Assassin's Creed again, or at least is happening right now. Rightfully, they completely uprooted the formula and started again with Assassin's Creed Origins. And it was a good idea. Even if the combat was overly simplistic, or so I heard, I never played Origins. And then when I heard that Odyssey was supposed to be the next big step, this is them refining the formula, started with Origins. The next Assassin's Creed 2, essentially, right? I was presented with an incredibly massive, empty, shallow open world experience with the most basic bitch RPG mechanics you can imagine. And quests that were just meaningless. Most, a lot of them were just played off as a joke. Oh no! We've been through this! I can't satisfy you anymore! You're going to kill me with your lust! Nonsense! I'm going to make you an elixir that will give you the vigor of a man a fraction of your age. God save me! I cannot do this anymore! Your husband is tired. Allow me to satisfy your hunger. I've never been with a mercenary before. Very well, let's see what you're made of. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. It just, it wasn't even Assassin's Creed anymore, for one. Not that I really cared, because the last really good Assassin's Creed game was Assassin's Creed 4, and the best part of that game wasn't even the Assassin's Creed part. The last Assassin's Creed I can say I legitimately enjoyed for the Assassin part was Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So, I think that'll give you a good idea of where I stand with this series. And so, here we are again, they're already milking their new formula dry, have ceased on any innovation whatsoever. They're just slapping a Viking skin on. And not even real Vikings. I mean, listen, people. I understand that there are certain themes in video games that probably should only be tackled if they're going to be taken seriously. But Vikings were not good people. You know, to put it, to put it mildly, really. The Vikings pillaged and... Whoa! You know, a word I can't say and is going to be censored in this video, but you you know what I mean, the hard R word, we'll say that. They, they did that a lot, you know. They shit on all the villages they invaded and brutally murdered and violated their people. Do you think any of that is going to be in this game? In a Ubisoft game? Ubisoft has never directly tackled any sensitive topics, pretty much. Like... Maybe a long time ago, but at this point, not not really, no. No, Ubisoft just wants to have fun, quote-unquote, with their meaningless, vapid experience, which, you know, I wouldn't even care, honestly. It's not even that I want to see that type of content in games, but if you're going to do, like, a more goofy, lighthearted experience, it better be fun. And that's where the problem lies, really, is the gameplay. Because, honestly, I don't even care if the story is meaningless. 
you know, I just played Watch Dogs Legion. Nobody watched that video, unfortunately, because I don't think most people care about Watch Dogs Legion. Plus, I don't know, I think uh, the video is definitely too long, I'll admit. But, you know, check it out if you're interested. I give it a not pretty honest review. I evaluate the recruitment system in depth. <sighs> and that was something actually new. They tried to do something different with Watch Dogs, and I'll give them a little bit of credit for that, even if they only, they kind of half-assed it, really. You know, they didn't put in the full effort. Maybe Legion 2, or whatever the hell they call it, if there's another Watch Dogs after this, will actually have a fully developed recruit anybody system that's actually cool and fun. But honestly, that game is a perfect example of why you shouldn't buy a Ubisoft game at launch. It runs like shit. Like complete shit. And I wouldn't be surprised if Assassin's Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla runs like complete shit too. At least on PC, anyway. Console, who knows? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the last gen versions ran, you know, subpar. And maybe the next gen versions are good. Who knows? I don't know. I can't say for certain, but I do know that Ubisoft has no problem releasing a game before it's ready just to avoid competing with Cyberpunk, right? And that's why everybody is memeing that they're cheering in their offices that Cyberpunk got delayed three more weeks to give these games a chance. Now here's the thing, if you're the type of player who loves single player games and you live in the modern era where a multiplayer game is shoved down your throat every five minutes, I get it. I mean, I'm one of those people, really, even though I play more multiplayer games these days as I ever did. I basically never played them until I was like 17 is when I really started playing them. <sighs> you know, there's plenty of other options, guys. Ubisoft is not the only single player game developer. And you don't have to look at indie either. Like, okay, let's look at what Assassin's Creed Odyssey offers you. Let's try and find some alternatives so that you don't have to buy this overpriced empty piece of trash I guess it, this is an open world I'll be generous and call it an RPG an action RPG right so there's not a whole lot of games like that in that exact sub genre the obvious comparison is Witcher 3 which is obviously much better than any of these Assassin's Creed games it's not even comparison really and I know it's gonna sound like a gaming circle jerk <sighs> but the point is is that there's much better writing and characters and just you're overall a lot more invested in Witcher 3 you know it's got a lot more quality content side quests that are actually worth doing that puts it up like a mile ahead of Assassin's Creed Odyssey it's not even close and the world didn't feel like extremely bloated like seriously Assassin's Creed Odyssey defined the saying wide as an ocean deep as a puddle because that's exactly what that game was so if you haven't played Witcher 3, play Witcher 3, I guess is the point of this segment. Let's divide this genre into bits and pieces and see what other similar appealing games you can play. So it was pretty obvious to me that Ubisoft wanted to take a little bit of Souls inspiration in its combat system. Just, just a little tiny bit. But just enough that I would say, yeah, play the Souls games if you haven't. I mean, seriously, I know... If you haven't played a Souls game by now, you probably aren't going to play a Souls game no matter who tells you to play them. No matter how many people say that they're amazing games, especially Dark Souls and Bloodborne. <sighs> You're probably not going to play them anyway, but I'll just throw out the suggestion. Because there's never enough suggestions to play Souls. So, yeah, play Dark Souls 1. Play Dark Souls 1. Let me put emphasis on that. Uh, play the Demon Souls remake if you get a PS5. You'll probably have a great time with that. I wish I could do the same can't afford PS5 sadly and yeah I mean Bloodborne is probably the most normie ish appealing one but if you're an Xbox fan obviously you can't really play it or you know if you're on PC you can't play it either so yeah just go with Dark Souls if you're into a more like just purely hack and slash experience and don't care about RPG mechanics which is completely fair again once once again bringing up the fact that uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey had incredibly bare-bones RPG mechanics that were just so poorly designed. Oh my god, it was purely a number-based system. Purely numbers. And in the worst way possible, if someone was like three levels above you, it would take like a hundred hits to take them down or some shit. It was insane. Basic melee combat was so useless at a certain point. I remember, I was like, level 23 or something I was fighting a level 26 mercenary and 
It would literally have taken probably 50 to 60 melee strikes to take him down. Insane, absolutely insane. At least, like, stealth and archery were a bit better, if I remember correctly. But yeah, basic melee combat was terrible. But if you want good melee combat, let me guide you to Platinum Games, one of the most underrated developers that I've mentioned more than a few times in my videos. Play Bayonetta, even though Bayonetta is not one of my favorites, I will say Bayonetta is a great game that a lot of people like, so play Bayonetta. Play Metal Gear Rising, that game's fucking awesome. Metal Gear Rising is easily one of my favorite action games. Love it. It's just such a great game. You don't need to know anything about Metal Gear to play it. It's basically not even canon anyway, so whatever. And this is actually before they were Platinum Games, but play Okami. It's the best Zelda game that's not called Zelda. Play Okami. Great game. As for like an open world experience, I mean, obviously Breath of the Wild, but I'm assuming you've already played Breath of the Wild. So, and if you haven't, you're not going to. So, but obviously Breath of the Wild is better than any of these. You know, I'm just going to take a moment to shout out Dragon's Dogma again. Even though it's not exactly a good game, to compare to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's open world, it's an RPG, it has really fun combat, mediocre story, but probably not much worse than these Assassin's Creed games, let's be honest. And you can climb giant monsters and stab them in the face. I mean, that's, that's the game. I mean, if I had to sum it up, that's pretty much what it is. You climb on a chimera, you can chop its tail off, stab its goat head in the face, just you know, it's it's fun. I mean, it's it's a fun game. It's a great game. Ignore most of the side quests, really. Please don't don't do them. But you know, explore the world, kill giant monsters. The plot actually gets really cool near the end with a, a huge reveal. Uh, I reviewed the the terrible anime adaptation a while ago. That was a semi-popular video by my standards. Anyway, I got lucky that time with the YouTube algorithm. But yeah, play Dra Dragon's Dogma, dude. You'll have a great time. Then I guess I'll throw some loosely related <laughs> older games, but I always want to say Fallout 3 in New Vegas just to throw out fun Bethesda games back when they actually cared about RPG mechanics. You know, some people would also say Oblivion. Obviously, I'm not going to say Skyrim because everyone's played Skyrim. And, you know, Skyrim is when Bethesda started their descent into mediocrity. Don't play Fallout 4. I don't know, if you're, if you're up to any suggestion, really, if you just want to play like more modern games that are kind of cool, I hear Ghost Runner is a fun game. I don't know if it would appeal to everybody, but it's essentially like a speedrunner-esque game where you're trying to create these short level sequences as fast and perfect as possible in a cyberpunk-like universe. So it might actually tide you over till cyberpunk if you need something to, to pass the month by instead of this. And, you know, I can slightly vouch for Watch Dogs, I guess, but it's not worth 60 bucks. Don't, don't buy Watch Dogs Legion at 60. Don't do it. See, this is the problem, is I think a big part of the appeal for this game is that it's a Viking game, and there's really not a lot of good Viking games. But is this really where you're gonna cave and just finally buy something to be a Viking? You're not even gonna get the real Viking experience. That's what I'm saying. You're gonna get a close approximation Minus all of the horrible things that Vikings do, right? And I'm not going to talk about the fact you can play as a female character. I know some people probably want me to talk about that. What is there to say, really? I n fucking, I know why they're doing it. It's not for the 5% the of women who are going to play this game. No matter how many, you know, sprout up every time you bring up the issue. And, and I'm talking about biological women, by the way. Just, just to be, uh... Just to be controversial for a second. Now, I don't really care, to be honest. Like, that, that's really where I stand on, on it. I don't care if a game lets you play as a female character. I do care if the game doesn't make any kind of distinction, which I guarantee this will be one of those. But is it really worth fussing over for a game I'm not going to play? No. No. And if you're one of those people who's dismissing my opinion because I haven't played the game and I'm not going to play the game, I don't really care. I've played like 20 Ubisoft games in the past 10 years, so I'm speaking from experience here. Don't buy this game, man. It's not worth it. It's just not worth buying. Buy it when it's like down to half price or something if you're really desperate. But there's better games to play if you're killing time for Cyberpunk. And if you're just buying it and you don't care about Cyberpunk, well, fuck, I, I don't know what to say to you because you probably, 
you probably don't like any good games anyway. So, <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're determined to stay interested in this game and you're excited, at least do me one favor. Do me one favor, this random guy on the internet you don't know. Wait for reviews. This will probably come out when the reviews come out, this video. So, watch those reviews, carefully listen to all criticisms, especially from Skill Up, actually. I expect him to be pretty honest about this, considering his opinion on Odyssey. And take all of that into consideration. There are plenty of great games to play. You don't need to play this, you know? Play Doom Eternal if you hadn't played it already. Play Ghost of Tsushima. Hey, there's a game that I actually kind of shit on before, but would be a great alternative to this, even though it's... Obviously, Samurai instead of Vikings, they're not exactly the same. Play Ghost of Tsushima, I guess. That's a, I guarantee Ghost of Tsushima will be a better game than Valhalla. I bet. I know it's not an RPG, but Valhalla's not a good RPG. I guarantee it. Absolutely guarantee it. So, if you have played Ghost of Tsushima and for some reason you still want to play another open world game with, like, shallow side quests and shit... Stop it. Get some help. Other than that, I don't know, I will be glad to give you guys any specific suggestions you want if you want to ask me in the comments, oh, well, what game should I play then? Not that you even care to hear my opinion, but, you know, if you do want to really know what game I would suggest instead, just ask any time, type of game you might want to play, any genre. I'll give you something. I'll try. Like, I'm not trying to be an asshole. Like, literally, I will give game suggestions, even if you don't want to hear them. So... Uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to put this out really quick because, uh, I actually forgot that Valhalla was coming out this soon. I kind of forgot about the game completely, to be honest, because I, I was never going to buy it, so... I shouldn't have bought Watch Dogs anyway. Like, again, no one saw that video, so there's a waste of $60. I am I will be doing a, a real review at the end of this week, or I should. Actually, a request from one of my friends. He will be very happy to see that review. Uh... Yeah, but, you know, in the meantime, uh, support me on Patreon if you can, and I'll love you forever. There you go. Uh, you know, like video, favorite video, subscribe, blah, 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 you know the drill. Alright, see you next time, guys.